My name is Levi Jensen, and this is Capturing Freedom on Skis. Skiing. The push to go further, to go faster, to go higher, all led by the pull towards fresh experiences, to new adventures, to explore our boundaries and our limits, but above all that, to feel emotion, the thrill, the pleasure, the raw fear, to feel pride and to always search out joy. Why do we express these emotions the way we do? Why do they make us jump up, cry out, and hug the ones we share these accomplishments with? What's the point of these feelings if we keep them to ourselves, if we don't share them with the people around us? Since the start of my time skiing, I've always remembered skiing with someone. My brother Colton was really the first person to spark my love for skiing. For without him, I wouldn't have moved on from that very shallow skiing, where you really learn how to know how to stop. Where you know how to control your speed while also being able to go fast without fear. Where exploring parts of the mountain no one has ever trekked would be impossible. But whenever I ski with Colton, the limits are boundless. I remember we got on the lift one day, first chair of the day, and I remember looking down and seeing powder. No dirt, no tracks, just fresh powder. Initially, I wouldn't have gone down something like that in fear of getting stuck. But as I looked over at my brother, I knew we were skiing in that direction. That was the first time I had ever skied a line that I was not comfortable with. And that was good. It was good because I was skiing with him. He was my brother. He's the person I've known my whole life. I trusted him. He was the person I trusted most. Trusted him to know my limits and how far he could push those limits. Because he knew my limits and how far he could push those. Um, I was able to feel freedom, freedom of, a feeling of freedom whenever I skied with him. Whenever I skied that line that I wasn't comfortable with because he knew my limits. A sense of euphoria. I'd instantly felt an addiction to skiing already brewing. I wanted to ski with him all the time, just to be able to feel like that I did the first time I had ever skied. I became attracted to finding a way to capture freedom on skis. Finding freedom through skiing, though, did come at a cost. While I will be able to obtain a greater appreciation for uh, God's creation and his beautiful nature, I did have to ask myself one question. Finding freedom at what cost? Any way you want to be able to capture freedom, there will be a cost, not just for skiers. No matter what you love, it will always cost something. You'll have to give up something to pursue that action that allows you to feel free, to be free. For me, skiing costs me money, time, and health. If my dream is skiing, the funds will be tough to get. Money has always been in my plan for the future. Deciding how to make, uh, make that money has always been unclear, though. But I did know that skiing wasn't going to provide that money that I have always wanted. It's an expensive activity, and there are not many careers that deal with skiing. Skiing is not very rewarding when it comes to the financial side. Pursuing skiing full-time also comes with a risk. I have to ask myself, is skiing worth the injury? And I believe it is. My love for skiing has always outweighed the fear of injury. If I'm following my dream of capturing absolute freedom I want through skiing, I'll have to push my limits. And for me, that can mean putting myself in danger. I've battled with this my whole life, my whole time skiing. The main goal for my senior year though was to find a way to achieve peace with each of these losses while in pursuit of freedom. During this senior year, I came to the bitter realization that skiing would not produce as much money as I had always wanted. Whenever I looked outward into what my future would look like, money was always playing a big part in it. I always, looked, I always thought I would focus all my time to be towards a career that would give me the most money. This was before I realized that some things bring more genuine happiness than money. 
This year, the hardest decision for me was whether skiing is worth the difference in cash I could be making doing something else in my life. <clears throat> and I still haven't decided uh, on this decision. And I, and I won't be uh, judging anytime soon. Going to God about this issue seems to be something I tend to do, and I tend to repeat at least once a week. I've looked for guidance from God and people who are very knowledgeable about this topic of skiing and money. I talked with Duncan Adams, who is a fantastic free skier. He told me that if I decided to pursue skiing, that I wouldn't make much money. But Duncan said to me, though, that he made that decision and he hasn't regretted it all his years of skiing. The biggest thing I've learned in my senior year is that money isn't everything. This lesson has taught me that I shouldn't base big decisions like my future on the amount of money I'll be making, but instead based on how happy I will be. Apart from the loss of uh, money to pursue skiing, the hardest lesson I have been trying to uh, learn is time management. I've looked to God for guidance with this. While I love skiing, there are still other things that need to be achieved. I still have to pursue my relationship in, with God as well as being able to make money and also still do well in my academics while also still being able to do the thing I love, skiing. Focusing on how to manage my time well, this was the first season that I have had skied a numerous amount of times. In the past, I barely got up to the mountain, uh, maybe four times, but this year was different. Finding times where I didn't have to work um, were times I spent skiing. The hardest part about this was my only free day of not working or school was Sunday. Church is essential in my family. The only way I was able to skip church was only go up skiing once a month. Being able to go up skiing once a month, it began to, I began to see that, uh, or I began to fear that I wasn't going to be able to ski uh, at all this season. I began to look at my school schedule, see what days I had off, and go up on those days. I take advantage of these off days and to go up skiing. I was spending all my free time skiing, though it was hard on my schoolwork. It made it hard for me to get homework done and also study for upcoming tests. I finally decided if I wanted to go skiing, I had to get homework and studying out of the way days before without procrastinating anything. After I was able to do this successfully, I was able to do the thing that I love that seems to me not part of this real world, while also being able to achieve and accomplish everything I needed to get done in this real world. Being able to manage my time well this year, I was able to ski the most I had ever skied in one season, This was only, and this was only half a season due to COVID-19. The coronavirus did spoil some plans that I had later in the season. I was planning on going up on, uh, skiing with my history teacher, Mr. Bryan, to the back country of Loveland Pass. I was thrilled to be given an opportunity like this to go skiing with him. Uh, he was my favorite teacher. How could I not pass up this relationship with him? And how could I not pass up this experience with him? <clears throat> so many plans of going skiing with friends and my brothers, my brother, canceled. But this does not mean I cannot be grateful still. I'm thankful for this being the best ski season I've ever had. I'm grateful for the guidance of God and people in my life on how to manage my time well. This lesson of time management is not only beneficial for this year, but for the rest of my life. This year, though, will not be the hardest time for time management, for that is upcoming in college. I will still have to look to God for help with this skill because I still have a lot to learn. Skiing also does come with a risk of injury though. It is a very dangerous ac action sport. Whenever someone skis, they could be putting their life, uh, or they could be putting their health or their life on the line to pursue skiing. It is also very likely that I will have an injury if I'm going to still push my uh, push myself to my limits. Almost every professional skier has had an injury at least once in their career. They push themselves over their limits in pursuit of freedom. I want to be able to uh, push my bounds to be able to pursue 
the search for free for my freedom. I want to I want to find my boundaries and see how far I can push um, push those limits and get past those limits. This year, I went to the furthest backcountry run in Keystone with my brother. We had a hike to the start of the run. I have never done a run like this before. This was crazy. Riding a line like that was uh, scary for me. I even hit a couple trees while trying to keep up my speed with him while winding through the trees. This experience for me was the most I have ever pushed myself in my whole life while skiing. I was scared, but I was free. I felt the adrenaline of going fast and dodging trees mixed with the uh, adrenaline of raw fear. This year has taught me how to embrace fear, how to know what I can do and be confident in that. The year has taught me how to not be afraid of an injury while being in pursuit of freedom. Duncan Adams was my guide in doing this. He told me that if I want to pursue skiing, that I will most likely face an injury. He said to me to not fear this though. Every injury has, uh, he has had was while doing something he loves. If my, loves, if my love of skiing comes at a risk of injury, I'm still going to pursue that. I'm still going to pursue it with my whole self in chase of what after I want. Yes, there will be injury. Um, there will be some fear uh, of pain from injuries. But if I get injured this, uh, but if I get injured, this is what I want to be doing. This year, I've embraced this view. I've tried so many things that I have always looked at and wished I had the guts to try out. I have pushed myself to do things that I would never do before. I cannot tell you how many times I look back at what I just did and say, wow, how did I, not, how did I just survive that with no injuries? I used to be always afraid of falling and getting minor injuries like bruises, but this ski season, ski season I've hit trees. I've landed on my face. I've done so many rolls down the mountain. But something was different about this season. I kept getting back up. I kept getting back up. I was excited to get back to it. It made me so happy both when I fell and when I finally landed this trick or skied that crazy line. I'm so glad. I'm so glad when I fall because I know what I need to improve on. I know that there's still something to look forward to uh, trying while slowly going back up the ski lift. But that feeling of accomplishment, that's incomparable to anything else. After getting past that fear um, into adrenaline of finally landing a throw, that's incomparable. This year has taught me how to have the courage how to believe in myself, whatever I sent, set my mind to, I can accomplish. <clears throat> this capstone experience from the start to the end was unbelievable. This taught me how to search for something you genuinely love. From the first question of what do you love, to how I was going to be able to make that happen. This taught me how, to, how you can pursue your love no matter if a career can be made out of it. I am so grateful for the people who made me who I am and pushed me out of my comfort zone to see me accomplish things I would never do before. I'm grateful for the beautiful lessons I learned about how to make decisions without money in the equation, how to manage my time well during my senior year, and to, be, uh, and to really be able to uh, pursue my love of skiing. This senior year has taught me a huge life lesson. That is, whatever you love must come at a price. You must find, uh, find what you may lose, and you have to decide whether it's worth doing, um, if what you love is worth doing. I hope you see why skiing has a significant part in my life and time. It excites me in ways nothing else can. I have learned how to deal with hardships through skiing. During this time of hiatus of skiing, from... During this time of hiatus from skiing, only one thing has been really clearly shown to me, and that is how strong my love is for skiing. Every day I wonder what type of lines are just waiting for me to ski. 
I watched numerous videos of skiers and see what they have accomplished. I read about some of the newest skis to hit the market just to build my knowledge of what the sport has to give me. This is this excitement of what the excitement I have from skiing is something that I will never get and never will change for me from anything else. It will always be something I still want to pursue. This year has just proved to me this year has just proved to me why skiing is on the list of some things I can almost do I can never do without. Thank you.